I'm Milan Revere, and I'm the United States Ambassador at Large for Global Women. Well, I was always interested in politics uh, from when I was quite young. I think it came from my father's activism in the community. He was a Stevensonian, and uh, I was more of a youngster who was enamored of John Kennedy. And I think the combination of a parent who was very engaged in politics, even at the local level, and a charismatic, up-and-coming political leader who spoke to the best in any of us in terms of ultimately not ask what you can do for your country can do for you, but what you can do for your country. There was something that was tapped in that combination. And uh, I came to Washington because of all of that. I wanted to be at the center of where. Well, my, really my singular uh, mission uh, as ambassador for global women's issues is to take these issues and, and work with my colleagues in the State Department to integrate them in everything that they do. Uh, so there are people in the State Department who uh, work on economic issues or work on human rights issues. All the regions of the world are represented, from Africa to Latin America to the Asia Pacific region. Uh, there is much that is done to advance America's cause uh, and work to create a better world. Uh, in the world of the State Department, but we have not always worked on issues in a way where we've also ensured that the gender lens, if you will, were applied, that we, we brought women into uh, the solution process. And certainly when we do that, whether it's in enhancing uh, economic growth or whether it is about uh, trying to ameliorate conflict situations from DRC to Afghanistan, when we do that, our outcomes are going to be far more effective. It's truly not just the right thing to do. I think, obviously, the, the moral under, underpinnings of this, uh, it is a moral imperative. There's no doubt about it. Uh, as someone has said, it is the great moral imperative of the 21st century, uh, women's equality. But that said, it's also the smart thing to do. It's extremely strategic in terms of our foreign policy. Uh, we know from a literal mountain of evidence and data today, research studies, uh, that correlate investments in women with effective outcomes for poverty alleviation and uh, a country's prosperity. We know that in countries where men and women are more equal, where there is less of a disparity, less of a gender gap, if you will, on issues like uh, access to health and education and participating politically and certainly economically, those countries are far more prosperous, certainly more economically competitive and productive. Uh, so it is a win-win. The more women are engaged in the economic life of the country, the more productive those countries are, the, the greater growth and jobs creation takes place in those economies.